Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, and we're exploring shapes today. Shape is what gives an object its form. They can be geometric, like squares or triangles, or shape can be anamorphic or free form. We begin with gyutaku, which is Japanese for fish printing. Traditionally, it's done with real fish, but we're using replicas to make fish shape prints. Let's see what we need to make them. So you'll need some gel pens in fluorescence, oil pastels, special thick mixed media paper, a foam paintbrush, black acrylic paint or another dark color, your fish replica, you can get these in all different sizes, these are silicone, some fabric dye um, that's liquid, some spray bottles for your fabric dye, and I think we're ready to get rolling. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually texture my paper with the um, fabric dye. And to do that, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more exciting by um, spraying my dye. And I've just mixed a tablespoon of the dye with, ooh, let's see if we can get this going. There it goes. I've just mixed a tablespoon of dye with one cup of water, but you can mix it darker or lighter by adding more or less dye. So that looks good. And now, so I don't have to wait forever for this to dry, I'm just gonna pick up a second piece of the paper, set it on top, try to line up your corners, and then just smooth it out like that. And guess what? We get two prints that we can use for our fish prints. So I've gone ahead and I have one here that I used blue and purple dye with. And now for the fun part, we're gonna actually do our gyutaku or fish print. So I'm working on a paper towel to protect my surface. I've got some paint on my brush and I'm just gonna swipe over the fish with my acrylic paint. And before I forget, once you're done with your fish prints, you'll wanna wash your fish in uh, soap and water so that you can reuse them. And you might have to pick them up a little bit to get the edges really nice and neat. But then you're gonna get rid of your work surface or your paper towel, and then set your fish down on a clean surface, and then put your printed side down, or your um, dyed side of the paper down, and then you're gonna just smush and spread out your paper all over your fish. And you wanna make sure that you get into all the cracks and crevices, make sure you get the gills and the fins and all those little veins and scales on the fish and this is gonna take some practice to see what works good. I know I've done about 50 fish prints and I'm just now starting to get the hang of it. But originally fishermen would do this before we had cameras, they would do this so that they could keep record of the kinds of fish they were um, catching as well as the size. And then let's take a look. Okay, I've got my first fish print. So you can make more or move on to the next step. And we're gonna, um, I've got one ready right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is use some of these neon pens. And these are really cool because they show up really well on dark surfaces. And so you can highlight all the scales. You can outline where the fins are like that. You can color in different areas and um, mix and match your colors. You can decide on a color palette. There's so many things that you can doodle and really make your fish your own. I've got another one I've been working on here. And you can see how well these gel pins look or how neat they look on this fish. The other thing I wanna show you is we can add a little bit of foliage or seaside elements with um, the oil pastels. And these look really cool because they're so dark and they look completely different from our fish print. So I'm gonna add some more seaweed like this, and I could leave it like that, but what if I go ahead and add a little bit lighter green? And you can see how the two greens blend together when I color on top of them, like that. So cool. And you could go back with your pens, and you can add little details, like bubbles or maybe things growing off of your plants. And you would just keep working on this. You can see I've added some sandy um, sea bottom or you know some rocks. You can add more fish. And I wanna show you how I uh, made the sea bottom here. I used a few colors of oranges and browns and golds. 
And what you're gonna do is just start by adding layers, tiny little arches really, because you want the sand to look like it's rippling because it's underwater. And you're just gonna keep going over it. And it's okay if the colors overlap a little bit, you can even add some more if you think it needs, you know, some more um, of that particular color in different sections of your drawing. And then don't forget, there's probably some crazy coral down there. So we'll add some hot pink coral. And this can be your interpretation. That's the cool thing about this um, project is that artists thought that these fish prints were so neat, even though they were originally just to keep records, that they put their own spin on it and made it their own. So we're gonna do the same thing here and we can kind of make up our own sea life here. Let's take a look at this finished one. You can see I've got my sprayed background, my multicolor fins with the gel pens and then the oil pastel at bottom. And then this one, I used actually different colors of paint. And I, for each print, I let it dry in between and then I cut it out and put it on a new piece of paper and then I started embellishing with the pens and the oil pastels. So, gyutaku, which is Japanese for fish printing.